Hello everyone. Like many car YouTubers, I get a near constant stream of requests in the comments and in person for cars people want me to review. Usually because they'd like to know how something I've already reviewed compares to something they're looking at, something that they own, or they just want my opinion on something. Now, as a small YouTuber, it can be reasonably difficult just to source something on a whim. I can't really go up to a manufacturer and say, hey, give me that car, I want to drive it, or go to someone and say, hey, lend me the keys to your Ferrari for the weekend. It sadly just doesn't work that way. Now, one car in particular that I've been requested to do pretty much since the channel began is the K20 Honda Converted Elise. Now, you can't deny the allure of that amazing, high-revving, sweet little Honda motor in the fantastic, nimble-handling Lotus chassis. But they aren't exactly a common car, because what Lotus is? As it turns out, though, I happen to live half an hour down the road from one of the world's most respected specialists in doing these conversions, Essex Autosport. So, a couple of weeks ago, I came down here and spoke to the owner, Sean, and said to him, hey, can I come down, do a little piece on you, and have a go in one of your cars? And he very kindly said yes. So, I present to you a Honda Elise Special. This is going to be a double build. So part one, I'll be talking to Sean, who's a little bit camera shy, but he's a great sport. And he talks a little bit about the process because it's a lot more in depth than you might think. And then in part two, I'm going to take one of the cars out and see just how good they really are. So I hope you enjoy. Okay. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> um, Hello, my name's Sean. Um, I'm the owner of Essex Autosport. Right, so what we do here, <laughs> um, a Lotus approved service centre, uh, road force wheel balancing, four wheel laser alignment, um, all types of servicing, uh, mechanical repairs, um, and specialising in Honda conversions as well, which is what we've been uh, known for doing quite a few years now. Um, one of the best ones, I think, in my opinion, that you can, you can get on the market at the moment which is why we have people coming from all over Europe as well, uh, Germany, uh, Amsterdam, places like that, to, to get the Honda fitted. Right, so the process of doing a Honda conversion, um, strip out every uh, engine, gearbox, cables, um, the whole drivetrain gets removed. Um, there's slight modifications to near side and offside engine mounts on the chassis and to the rear subframe to allow the engine to sit slightly further back than other conversions, so we get less angle on our drive shafts when fitted with our kit. Um, Hyundai to ECU, full new wiring loom. Um, it's advised, depending on the age of the car, to upgrade your fuel pump, um, especially depending if you're going supercharged, you might want a high, fuel, high rate fuel pump uh, or secondary fuel pump, swirl pots. Um, yeah, there's a huge list of things you can do to them, oil coolers. Um, oil fil filter is relocated and a standard Honda it's pretty much underneath the exhaust manifold which is no good on an Elise, it's very awkward so we relocate them uh, onto um, one of the rear roll bar struts uh, it's mounted on there so you can go through the arch line it's much easier to, to do an oil filter change. Um, we've got our own custom mounts that have been developed over the years, uh, Vibrotechnic rubber mounts uh, exhaust manifold, um, what else have we got? Custom made drive shafts. Um, there was a lot of problems when the Honda kits were first developed where shafts kept breaking or CV joints used to keep wearing. Um, we completely eliminated that issue by setting the engine further back and using a higher quality GKN built shafts, um, specialist greased, um, stuff like that. And so, yeah, there's no drive shaft issues with these anymore. They're, ultra reliable, which is what I think one of the main reasons that people upgrade to them. The total amount of conversions we've done, I'd probably say over 150. Um, the main bulk of it is Series 1s with engines of a K-Series just died, so it's like logical upgrade. People want more power, they want it to be more reliable than before. Um, quite a few S2s over the years as well. And not so many Toyota engines, a lot of people still sticking with the Toyota because it's quite new, the, the expense of it doesn't really compute with them. You, you've, got a, you've got a Japanese engine that works, it's not, it's quite a lot of money to spend. To t it's not often you have a, a damaged Toyota engine that gets binned and then they don't know what to do next. So, but it's mostly K-series, 
if people want more power or the case has died. Power levels most people go for is just, just standard NA, just to keep it quite simple and keep costs down, I suppose. Um, it's basically around two, 220 horsepower. Um, we have done quite a few supercharger, uh, supercharger conversions over the years. Um, and that can take up to 340 if you charge cool as well, nearing 350 sort of horsepower. Um, but yeah, generally nowadays it's been mostly NAs. The conversions take, depending on spec level, around six weeks. Um, I spend a lot of time on little details. I like to get little details right, you know, things facing the right way and making it look clean and nice lines and just spending time on it to make it look right. Um, so it might take a little bit longer than elsewhere, but I like to spend more time on details and presentation, which is, yeah, it's quite important, I think. Um, prices, um, basic conversions start from just under £10,000 and uh, Supercharger conversions at the moment, because there are some new kits available, um, will range from around 15, 16,000, I think. Two of my favourite cars that we've done, um, quite a few years ago now, I had a 340R. Uh, we put a Honda in that, NA Honda, um, it's crypto green, carbon fibre, retrimmed. That was, my, that was one of my first experiences of a 340R as well, and just fell in love. That's the best car, I just love it. <laughs> Uh, another car that I've really actually uh, quite proud of is one I've just done recently. It's just in the paintwork at the moment. Uh, Series One Exige, which uh, we supercharged Honda, converted quite a few years ago. It's changed customers' hands. Uh, recently, just put a full interior retrim, um, full roll cage, uh, suspension refreshed, like shocks, repowder coating wheels, everything new tyres, yeah, full new paint job and uh, Old English White, which is going to look awesome, I think. Um, yeah, motorsport rear deck lid, all sorts of trick little bits. Uh, new uh, AP racing brake calipers that hasn't, haven't been fitted to another car yet, so that would be interesting. Um, so yeah, they're the two that stick out in my mind. Uh, two of my favourite cars I've, I've ever worked on, built.